Welcome back to Kin in Lion. This, I think, is part 42. And here we have a photograph of a drawing done from a photograph of Regimental Sergeant Major Blachnet, who was our Regimental Sergeant Major at um, one intelligence school at 11th Commando in Kimberley. The, you can see the date is... 1981 and I had to do this for them because they wanted to give him a drawing of himself a portrait uh, for his birthday you know, and we were in the intelligence uh, units um, media center and I was the designated artist as it were so anyway, it came out quite nicely. It just shows you can, from a photograph, you can actually do quite a nice, uh, complete sketch. Although for me, it's always better to do it from life itself. I haven't looked at what else we've got in this pile of drawings, so it can provide any number of surprises. Uh, more pontificating about drawing. Um, yeah. Okay, so here um, on land paper, we, part of the media centre included a recording studio and uh, it wasn't really where we were operated from, so, but there were guys that sort of were there permanently and we were friends with them so we went there one one day and I did these drawings through the sort of glass so this is one of the guys in that recording studio this as well you can actually see the word Sony down the bottom there um, can't really make out what's potting there but that's where it was done and here you actually get sort of because there was probably double glazing or something you've got a double image of the sky which I captured so all these things come back to me as soon as I see the drawing um, so as I said earlier in an earlier video when sometimes when I stood guard I would sketch myself in the reflection in in the glass of the guard room and that's what I've done here uh, and then some quicker sort of caricatures of myself below which work better <laughs> look at that little moustache it's painful eh? um, here again is another um, self-portrait really Look like a sort of hobo or something, and again sketched in in the reflection in a in a window, not a mirror. You know. Likewise here. It was the middle of winter, so I was probably wearing a great coat. And I've always liked this one. Um, you'll see the word. So I'm reversed here because it's a reflection. And oops. anyway, in the in the uh, on the right top right here, you can see the word Nafraya and uh, what's the English there? Inquiries. That's right. Inquiries would have been written sort of. On the outside of that window, and that's what you're seeing there. So that's sketched from the in the darkness of a, a sort of mirror, a window with no curtains, and pitch dark outside. Probably. This is quite a nice one, actually. Uh, so we used to shove our beret in that, is it called an epaulette, on the top of your shoulder. Um, 
was a guy reading a paper or something, a book. More of the same. They come in all shapes and sizes, these dreams. Uh, I remember this chap, one of the Durban Brigade. Caricature of a guy. And I think this is the sergeant regimental regimental sergeant major sketched from life. So when he came to visit us in our office, I think that's when I must have quickly done a few surreptitious drawings of him. But he was quite a character. In the guard room, probably. Eyes fixed on that TV. And back, back in a bungalow somewhere, probably. Yeah, probably the same guy now facing the other way. First he's there, and he's there. So sometimes you can get away with just a few lines. And it's often the hardest thing to focus. Maybe the camera doesn't recognize it. Give up on that. Maybe. Will it spot this one straight away? Shoulder distorted oak drawing or something. So that's the reason for that. Um, this will be you know, another quickie. So we did do a bit of work. I mean, this guy's bending over doing something. And this is quite interesting, see, I've written another of my many things, this is about drawings, and then we've actually got a guy holding, you just see his face there, and then his two hands as he writes something, but he's just gone out of focus again. Yeah, there he is. So he's right bent over his, whatever he's writing. And then we go from the very wispy drawing to a very bold one in felt to pen. And incredibly, I actually signed this drawing. Um, ben, okay, Bentley 81. And you'll see it on his collar. For me, that was... Uh, I don't ever sign stuff, so... I must have thought it was quite a good one. Likewise, this... In his collar there as well. And this was Corporal, Corporal Glenday, 
headed up the uh, media centre for the second half of our term. Done in a kind of a soft pencil. Not sure. Quite nice. There's another fairly finished drawing, but it's suffered a bit from too much sun landing on it or something. So I used to just assemble these uh, brown envelopes full of these drawings that I did as the years passed, you know. And I mean, I've managed to hang on to these for 40 odd years, 45 years. Um, been through numerous changes of address, lived for two years in the UK, put these all in storage along with our other stuff. And it's somehow survived, eh? There's some instructions. Touch up poles. Poster for the pay office. <laughs> anyway, this is, this is quite a nice medium. I think this is almost like a china marker that I've used here. Gives a, a nice soft chalky sort of effect. Maybe it's just a crown, a sort of pastel crown. Sitting around doing nothing, which was par for the course, really. Yeah, in Afrikaans, they used to have this word balasbak. Um, in fact, there was a course that you had to do, Bastir uh, in Onderhut, which meant to learn to drive and maintain vehicles. And um, Oh, so it was beer in O, B and O, and it became ballast buck in on spun. So just sit around baking your bollocks and relaxing. That's basically what this guy's doing in our media center. So I'm going to sign off here with this drawing of a chair and a stool. I don't even remember doing this at all. Yeah. So let's leave it at that for now. Cheers.